Hi guys, welcome back to London. Today I've come to Warwick Avenue, tube station Warwick Avenue. I'm headed to an area of London called Little Venice. In particular, I guess what can best be described as, well, it looks like a pond. It's nicknamed the Lagoon. That's where I'm headed. Um, the Lagoon is, I guess it's a, uh, a junction of two of London's canals. So the Union Canal and the, uh, the Regent Canal. It's normally quite a, uh, quite a tranquil spot, popular with walkers, certainly between, I guess the popular route is between Camden and Little Venice. Um, there are boat rides between the two. Boat rides take about 45 minutes to walk. The full distance takes about two hours. It's quite a, it's quite a walk. A lot of people will pick a route along the, along the uh, towpaths of the canal, maybe have a cafe or a pub as a start, a middle and a finish. It's popular with runners and dogs. It's normally very tranquil, but today, the reason I've come today, well, the reason I'm headed to the lagoon part today is uh, once a year, the trust that look after the, um, that look after the canals, they, I guess they hold the London, the canal version of the boat show. So hopefully it'll be a little less tranquil today. We're going to see what's happening there, but before, I head over to the Little Venice Lagoon. I thought I'd show you one of London's real hidden gems. I'm gonna get a coffee from uh, Clifton Nurseries. You'd probably never stumble across it. I didn't know it was here. Here we go, Clifton Nurseries. Then we'll head down to the lagoon and then maybe I'll get some food. Well, we'll see what's going on at the uh, canal event, get some food and then maybe a pub, get a beer. Let's go and take a look at the nursery. Clifton Nurseries is the oldest garden centre here in London. Established back in 1851, it's very easy to miss because the entrance is down this small pathway between two houses. Why they built the houses around an existing ornamental garden and plant nursery in this way, I think the reason why has been lost in the mysteries of time, but it's still here 165 years later. I think it was running out of steam a little in the late 1970s and was purchased by Lord Rothschild and I would imagine there were sceptics at the time wondering why such a wealthy and successful man was buying a garden centre on prime land here in the centre of London. I'm sure they'd be pleasantly surprised to see some, well nearly 40 years later, the only development that's gone on is that of a very successful horticultural business and it's no folly either, they take what they do very seriously, they exhibit at Chelsea each year. New shops have been built, it's been taken care of, uh, rebuilt as such, probably more successful than it's ever been. Um, there's a cafe, the Queen Street Cafe, in one of the conservatories. I've come here to get a coffee, but it's a great spot for lunch, brunch, dinner. I think it's available for, pro well, it is available for private hire too. They uh, cocktail parties, business events, and weddings. It's a great spot for weddings, small weddings here in town. I'm going to get a coffee to go, but yeah, definitely come and check out the uh, Clifton Nurseries if you're in town. Okay, I've got a black Americano coffee to go from the, uh, the Quince Tree Cafe, but it's a great spot to get breakfast, brunch, lunch. I'm going to take the coffee, head over to uh, Little Venice, a lagoon. Okay, welcome to Little Venice here in London's Paddington and welcome to the uh, annual Little Venice boat show, I guess. I came here via Warwick Avenue station because I wanted to get a coffee first, but Paddington station's probably slightly closer. If you come out the back of Paddington station, you're right on the canal, just a few hundred metres from this spot. The big pool here, nicknamed the Lagoon, is actually called Browning's Pool. Before Britain's road and rail network infrastructure was in place as it is today, canals were used to transport goods up and down the country. And this is where the Grand Union Canal, which runs from here in London up to the Midlands, and the Regent Canal, which runs across London, meet. The pool was a sort of holding area for boats moving between the two and moving around London. The rail and road improvements pretty much ended the industrial use of the canals nearly a century ago. 
The Regent Canal is actually really popular now for riverboat rides, walking, cycling along the towpath and just for fun and relaxation. And so is the Grand Union Canal from here right up to the Midlands. When its use fell into decline, I guess being flanked in many parts by declining industries and industrial buildings in many parts too. Um, there were multiple plans over the years to fill in the Regent Canal and use it as a road or railway for for, run, for one reason or another, luckily, they, they never happened. It was bought by three different railway companies in succession, and each one subsequently failed as a company and failed to convert the canal into a railway or a road. The canal was nationalised in the late 1940s and continued to decline in use and probably condition until the 1970s when the national grid, the electricity supplier, needed to lay new high voltage cables to supply London's electricity, they found the canal was the perfect artery through the city with the added benefit of being able to pump canal water over the cables as coolant. So below the towpaths are large high voltage cables. Normally the canal is a very tranquil place, every London normally comes here to escape the hustle of the city but once a year, usually on a bank holiday weekend, there's this annual gathering of canal boats a hundred or so more up and dress up for the event, boat pageants, food, drinks, markets and live music which continues right into the night. So this is possibly, the, if you're looking for a, a big event, the best weekend to come. If you're looking for tranquility, any other weekend will be better. You can walk from here to Camden, it takes around two hours just along the towpaths of the Regent Canal. But many people are only in London for a short period of time. If you're only here for a short while, I would walk from Warwick Avenue Station to Paddington Station or vice versa, which is basically what I've done here. We're just at the back of Paddington Station. Although all the market stalls and the pageantry of this won't be here all the time, all these shops and stores here, um, there's a Starbucks and uh, the Union Cafe, they're here open all year round. And the Waterside Cafe in the Lagoon, which is a narrow boat, um, decked out as a cafe, that's there the whole time and obviously Little Venice is surrounded by pubs and the um, Clifton Nurseries for coffee, food, drink is great so yeah 20 minute walk between the two stations and then stop off food and drink on the way if you want to spend a little more time enjoying the area Okay today there are market stalls running from the lagoon right the way down to where I am right now which is right next to Paddington Station. If you're coming here, normally all the market stalls won't be here, but um, yeah, if you are here for the one weekend that this event happens, definitely come and check it out. But because uh, this isn't normally here, I've gone for some food from a uh, cafe that's always gonna be here, a Union Cafe. I've gone for a uh, barbecue beef brisket with horseradish, Horseradish coleslaw in a brioche bun with some chives. So let's give this a go. It's really good. The beef's good. The contrast with the horseradish coleslaw is really good too. Okay, I'm going to head back down, take a look at some of the market stalls, take a look at some more of the, of the house boats, head back to the lagoon, and um, yeah, maybe we'll uh, try one of the pubs by. Um, Back by the station where we started. Yeah, if you carry on walking along the, the canal, the towpath there, you uh, you're here, you're right at Paddington Station, underground and mainline. There are a few stores here. There's a Starbucks coffee, the Union Cafe, a few others. But today, you've got all these amazing market stalls and all these amazing boats.
So after three, you've got to pretend there's a boat, okay, coming through the bridge, and I want to hear a round of applause from you. One, two, three. Yay! Can you hear that? No. Well, I'm going to do that again. You have not long to get this right. One, two, three. Yay! <laughs> oh, I'm fine. <laughs> 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 few of the narrow boats have been decorated in various themes, I'm guessing of the owner's choice. They're passing under this bridge into the lagoon of Little Venice and they've been judged and I, I guess at the end there'll be a winner of the best themed boat. Some of the themes are quite easy to guess, others not so much. The first one I think was Noah's Ark, there's another one that's celebrating the Queen's 90th birthday and appears to be being sailed by the royal family. There's a pirate ship and there's another one with I guess a more serious message of not to feed the ducks bread. It's bad for the it's bad for the ducks. I think they're promoting that you feed them feed them with seeds instead of uh, instead of bread or bird seeds. Okay, that was all pretty good fun watching the uh, watching the boats go under the bridge. They're all themed and they're getting they're getting judged for uh, I guess the decoration. This one just going under there. They're getting judged over back of the uh, lagoon by a panel of judges. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna head over to the pub, get a quick beer. There's 20 or so of those boats to go. I've kind of had enough of the first four or five. But yeah, here, Warwick Place, just across the road from the, uh, the lagoon over there. It's a pub called uh, the Warwick Castle. Just here. Let's go get a beer. Okay, I've got a pint of Cornish lager running. A pint of the Warwick Castle. It's actually been quite a nice day. A lot of people sitting outside enjoying a beer. Enjoying this. And head back to the station.
Okay guys, that's it for today's video, today's vlog. I hope you enjoyed this little trip to Warwick Avenue, Clifton Nurseries. I'm actually at the back of Clifton Nurseries right in here. Um, the trip to Little Venice, the lagoon, the boat show. Obviously the boat show won't happen most weeks, but most of the places I've been, including the Warwick Avenue, uh, the Warwick Castle pub there, they're here the whole time. And uh, yeah, it's definitely a more tranquil spot to visit most of the time. But um, if you're in town, definitely recommend a trip, certainly to uh, take a look at um, Little Venice. Even if you just take a walk from Warwick Avenue down to Paddington, check out Check out Little Venice, try not to get one over there. Yeah, go for a little walk along the canal, the Regent Canal. Hope you get some food, there's plenty of places to choose from all year round. So I'm going to head off now. Hope you enjoyed this little trip, thanks for watching. So until next time, toodles.